All right, what up, what up, everyone? It's Adam, and today we're going to talk about the Java Talk 25. Now, the Java Talk 45, which I'll have linked in the description, my review of that, is the best headset I've ever used for this form factor of a mono Bluetooth headset that's just in one single ear, nothing overly intrusive as far as a big old headset or anything. I love that thing. I still use it today often, especially when I'm driving around. But I got a lot of questions about the Java Talk 25. Now, I've had a lot of doubts because typically we know how this goes. The lower the number, the lower probably the quality. So a lot of people are asking me, well, what about the Java Talk 25? It's much cheaper. Let's see how that sounds. So I got about 12 requests via email for this review. What I'm going to talk about first is the specs and basically what's on the box. And it's really simple. I mean, it has one main omnidirectional microphone and you can connect up to eight devices, but you can have multi-pairing with two devices, if that makes sense. But it remembers eight different devices you connect. You can wear it with or without an ear hook. And the only app it supports is the Jabra Assist app. That's what it's supported by. Talk time is eight hours. Charging time takes two hours. It's micro USB. Standby time is up to 10 days. Bluetooth 4.0, so it's not 5.2 or anything fancy. This is an older headset. Wireless range is 98 feet. And what it comes with in the box is the micro USB charging cable, three ear gels, two ear hooks, which is probably just a backup one because you can switch it anyway. And then, you know, one year warranty and it only weighs about 8.2 grams. Now, when it comes to the controls, it's really boring and nothing fancy at all. The main button in the center, which is a physical button you actually push in, is really just the answer and end of call. You can't even play or pause media. I've tried it on multiple things. It just says connected and that's it. So nothing fancy there. Volume up and volume down. How you mute yourself on a call is you push the volume up and volume down button at the same time. And then you have your power on switch. And then of course you can switch out the ear hook to either side, the left or the right. Now I will bring up fit right here where when it comes to the fit, I strongly recommend just having the ear hook at all times. Even if you wear glasses, it's not that uncomfortable. But when I was shaking and kind of doing a shake test, it really felt like, okay, if I was on the run or if I was a delivery driver, that sounded really funny. But if I was a delivery driver or even in between appointments without the ear hook, I don't have a lot of confidence and it just feels weird like it is going to fall out at any second. So I would recommend when it comes to the fit, best use is to have the ear hook in. Now that I went over all that, let's get into a microphone test. It's going to be a quiet office. It's going to be a fan, coffee shop, and dogs barking. So let's get straight into that. All right, so what you're hearing now is the Jabra Talk 25 in a quiet room. The only thing I have ambient noise-wise going is my window being open. So test one, two, three. All right, so what you're hearing now is the onboard microphone for my camera of the coffee shop test. I'm looking at the decibel meter and it's saying it's about 85 to past 90. I had the speaker really loud. So now what I'm going to do is switch it over to the Java Talk 25, which is what you're hearing now. And microphone test one, two, three, act like you're ordering a croissant or something in a busy coffee shop. But I'm going to be quiet to see if any of that comes through. You know, maybe you're on a business call. All right, so now I'm going to pause that and then I'm going to do a dog barking test. So let's just play a random dog barking, which is what you're hearing now. Okay, that's really loud. It sounds like a puppy whining or something. Okay, maybe, you know, maybe you got a lot of dogs barking at the neighbors or something. So after that, I'm going to switch over to a fan test. So let me get that set up real quick. Okay, so two things. I actually got a literal fan, in case you're wondering what I meant, and I want to do a wind test here, and I'm wearing it on the right side because I just was silly and didn't realize I'm going to be putting it on this side. So you may be a delivery driver or maybe going for a walk, taking business calls, a realtor. I'm thinking about everybody that's walking around outside often. So let me put this on a two, or let's just put it on a three, full blast. And I can hear my voice through it and everything. It's so close to me. But I have it at full blast, so let's see if it affects the microphone performance at all. You know, maybe you can get a little foam thing or something, but most people are not going to have that. They're going to buy this and use it as it is. So test one, two, three. Let me go to let me go to level one now, just to see if it's a breezy day, not a super windy day. And let me turn it off, just so we can see the difference between 
that going and it just in a quiet room. So hopefully this helped. So would I say the Jabbertalk 25 is worth it for $39.99 and I have seen it on sale as low as $20. I would say it's only worth it if you just want convenience. So let's say you don't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto or anything in your car and you just want convenience of being able to take a call while driving around, walking at the park, or you work from home and you want to brew a cup of coffee, you don't want your family hearing a private call or something, you know, whatever it is, it's just convenience and that's it. It's, it's good enough for that, but it's not good enough if you're in a loud coffee shop or if you're at a loud grocery store or maybe you're a delivery driver and wind's coming in and out. I would say the Jabra Talk 45 and the Voyager 5220, 5210, I believe. I'll have the link in the description of my reviews for those so you can hear the difference. If you're relying on this for sales and it's a money-making device, I guess is the best way I can put it. Since I'm in real estate, I know then go to something else. You need to make sure you're heard on those quote unquote professional calls. But if you just want convenience, then this is good enough. You know, it's way better than speakerphone and just holding up the phone to your ear kind of thing. Anyhow, that is my take on this. I, it's just, it's an old piece of tech, but there you have it. You heard the microphone test and whatnot. So it's up to you at this point, but I really appreciate you watching this review. I hope all is well, and I'll see y'all on the next one.